Coos Bay, Oregon, my guy. It's okay. Look around. We'll get there. That's a big girl. We're blending with the locals. This dude's giving us the rundown. He's like, we're gonna freeze our ass off. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Gentleman's from Eureka, which is right over yonder. And uh, all I brought were tank top, flip flops, shorts. And uh, I guess uh, should have brought some jackets. Where are we going? All right guys, have a good day. You Coos too. Bay, baby. What? It's our last fuel stop. Um, we got home from Nitro Valley Cross, which was amazing in Mid-America Outdoors. So if you haven't seen that YouTube, check it out. It's action-packed, put together by this man right here behind the camera, Baker 4A. And uh, Coos Bay, UTV Takeover. Once again, it's a new year, same venue, a lot of similar friends and new friends. Thrashing through the trees on the coast and so much more. Yeah, but we left at 1 a.m. And we've been powering through it, swapping off drivers. Baker's been sleeping for God knows how long. Dude, I had to catch up in like this week. And you like felt, the rigs? Felt so yeah, nice. say come by, in here. Which one's your favorite one? Oh, I think the one in the back that said it have an LS or something in it with roll. You know your shit, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this pump stopped working. Coos Bay, Oregon, my guy. It's okay. Look around. We'll get there. Bro, this is going to take forever. Okay, then just stop. We'll go somewhere else. No, I, where, where do you got to be? Oh, now you're turning this against me. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm just trying to figure Pump out the it. gas. It's pumping. A lot. Bro, we barely had you were complaining cars. about the front seat. Well, Ooh. I'm, I'm getting you. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not. We're gonna leave you here. <laughs> we're still at the gas station. Harry's strapping down the gas cans. We got an OG Blaine in the house, complimenting the rides. And uh, yeah, have you ever shredded the dunes in Coos Bay? No. My brother had some pretty serious sand rails, and uh, I never did go down all the times that he offered around. Is that Denali four-wheel drive? Yeah. Drop the air pressure and let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> let's run it. Let's go. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure I, to meet I you. I built some sand rails on a titanium. Titanium? Yeah. I had a whole bunch of titanium tuning tubing that I bought from Boeing Surplus. Oh, for six wow. cents a pound. They didn't know what to use it. They sold for a price of uh, just mild steel scrap. Jeez. To get out bit. I built some uh, custom bike frames. Yeah. Party motors on them and S and S motors. And then the two sand rails for guys. Well, we gained a new subscriber today. Blaine's rad. We're already late and uh, we've been driving since 1 a.m. So it was nice to meet you. Yeah, dude. you too. Uh, let us know. Like and comment our stuff and uh, let us know what you think. This video will probably be out in what, two weeks to a month? And then. Uh, it's yeah. nice to see that people make a good living on YouTube it's with some content that was worth seeing, not the bullshit that those people have on there. It's a struggle, but uh, we do our best to keep it entertaining. Yeah. Take care. See you, Blake. Hey, man. Oh, it's a rental. We'll cover it. We'll cover it. We'll cover it out. I mean, if they're, if they're let, you 
in the car and then yeah, they that wasn't good enough. I'm kind of glad he didn't get like a nasty burnout because like the dust would have just engulfed us. Sure. And this here truck is pristine. What up, cuz? They got the life horn. <laughs> they got the life horn. That's the curliest freaking horn. <laughs> what up, oh, no, man? It's your fucking. <laughs> Tired. It is currently 10:28. We left at 1 a.m. yesterday. It's almost been 24 hours. And he drove the least. And he's. Sick. What do I got? I get to pick? No, you no, both. both. Oh, sweet. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah. how's it going, man? Awesome. You, you yeah. guys as well. <laughs> yeah. Hold it up, hold it up again. That's what? Sick. That's sick. Good job. Super. I was doing slug bug, but I didn't finish that one. You didn't finish. Oh. North Bend Power Sports. So yesterday, as you saw from TikTok tones, Snapchats, we had a collision in the trees. Came around a corner. I made it to a dead stop. This other Yamaha, who has a race-style front push bumper, went perfectly in between the front bumper and the tire took out the radiator and hit the shock the x travel kit is so beef that it didn't even harm it just a couple scratches on the fresh uh pink powder coat from swift and we talked to everyone at coos bay the vendor row talked to polaris betsy set it up to come here to north bend power sports and they were kind enough to give us the parts off of a brand new unit. Like, that is rad. They carry shreddy gear here in North Bend, which is right next to Coos Bay. It's literally 10 minutes from the dunes. We brought our Boxo tools, and we're gonna take a brand new unit apart to get a front shock and a radiator. Yes, sir. Let's get this done. We got some more shredding to do. We're doing a shoot with Onyx Off-Road to show you the app and how you can track your trail system and find new trails out here because there are sections that are blocked off by fence lines bodies of water and stuff and you can get lost yesterday i didn't have the app open and harry what did we do got lost <laughs> <laughs> so it's not going to happen today north bend power sports Coming through, see that, that that looks exactly like a picture. Um, coming through with the radiator of a brand new unit and uh, front shaw. We're jacking her up right now. We're taking very precautious measures here, um, making sure to not damage anything in the process. And uh, I already got both the bolts off and loose. All we gotta do is rip the shock. Upper arm. Oh, we do have to rip that for now? Just this side. Okay. On the mountain. And uh, we're going back to the dunes to rip. 
These guys making it half. How are you guys doing? <laughs> been better, been worse, but it's getting better now. Hey, yeah. Like, you sure? Yeah. Just keep going. <laughs> They're keeping us rolling. We got the parts we need in and out quick. Again, North Bend Power Sports is saving the day. The brand new unit I got one day of use out of it. It happened. But you know what? Hello? It's just luck of the draw and uh, is what it is, but I am stoked we came all this way. Okay to keep ripping because the Polaris Pro R is the ultimate machine in the in this terrain. Yeah. Like, I mean, Megalodon's fun and she barks on the open, on the open areas. But all but the tight trails we were doing yesterday when we're bumper to bumper ripping, yeah, the Pro R is where it's at. We tried to sure. get the ripping in before the crowd showed up and we ripped ourselves apart. But we're gonna fix it. We shall rebuild. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'll, I'll find you guys this afternoon or tomorrow or something. Okay. I'm gonna I have a little black RS1. Okay. With all, it's all custom, so. We are back. Back at the venue. We got Schmitty racing suspension. Who we're dropping the goods off with. Good dial. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Got her done, huh? Found everything we need. And uh, we'll be back in no time. Okay. So, do you, do you have the uh, like the lower the forks? Oh yeah, I got it all. Baby. This is the good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, the positive thing is you didn't lose all the parts. Yeah, it didn't fly everywhere. So um, that's your. Do you have a torch? Yeah. Yeah. Of course you do. You guys know the drill. So these guys specialize in uh, UTV suspension. They have a ton of different things with uh, their shock caps, their valving. Um, what else do you guys do? You give us give us the breakdown. Yeah, so we got full dual rate spring kits, uh, valving setups. We got our billet forks for the Pro R, um, as well as we were talking yesterday about the shock fill tool system. So um, like we're rebuilding a set of shocks that had the diet, basically the nitrogen had flipped in the shock. So we redid those for a guy real quick and but yeah we got our regulator kits that we sell a ton of for guys that want to make, maintain nitrogen pressure so yeah we're out here just trying to help out and luckily you stop by and we can help you help you get your shocks back on the road so. we've been in talks about uh diving a little deeper into the pro r uh with these guys this is their specialty is the side-by-side -side stuff and uh you know there's other people um, that do a killer job these guys have put countless hours into it and I think that they are leading the charge when it comes to uh, the side-by-side -side specific tuning. Um, we're going to get there and it's been the talks to make it happen. However, they're getting us fixed back up and then uh, when yeah. we get time. The important thing is getting yeah. your car back on the road. Yeah. <laughs> I made it one day, or day and a half, day and a half, brand new unit. It wasn't my fault though.
Sean Owens built this Corvette. Give us the breakdown on you know the engine and your whole idea and being the first Corvette that I've ever seen in the dunes straight ripping. Yeah, I just did some donuts over there and I was kind of just waiting for something to break because there's so many stock parts on this Corvette that it's actually insane. Um, but yeah, it's a 2000 uh, C5 uh, FRC. So for all the people that don't know, FRC was before the Z06 and they made like 600 of these, so it's pretty rare. So uh, the, the Corvette purists, they uh, they don't really like it, but Give me a little I walk around it. on this thing. Take me yeah, around it. To give us what you've done for the engine, obviously twin turbos coming out of the hood, if there was a hood. I'm sure this thing's evolved. Uh, it's caged. I'm gonna let you take it away. And, and Baker, dude, this is a majestic beast and I feel like we need one, but Sean, take it away, brother. Uh, it's mostly stock, like uh, drivetrain wise. Um, so we got a, let's back it up actually. I bought this car with a blown motor. Um, it had a window in the block. The guy said he was just idling around, but obviously he was probably on the limiter. Um, but yeah, so I put a six liter iron block, which you should never do in a Corvette. Um, twin turbos out the hood. Bone stock trans, bone stock uh, rear diff. I did my own angle kit for steering because it is a drift car. Uh, that's what it started out as. Now it's a little bit different. It kind of does a little bit of everything. So um, yeah, cage, the whole nine. We just, we're trying to break it honestly. So um, I don't know, we'll see if it breaks. <laughs> this thing is just intercooler just hanging off the front i don't know if you guys just saw this dude just smash through the water hanging tire drifting on the edge of the pond after the donut comes over here smashes this way too big of a hill launches stuffs the intercooler intercooler is still good yeah barely might not be blowing enough water though or enough air through there yeah. we're gonna have to hose her down later i think the best part of this whole thing is the free filters they, uh, they say American Eagle because they're boxers. Oh. I cut them for the pre-filter. So these, these were your undies at yeah. one point? Look at the, it says American Eagle right there. These, this, these came out of your closet. Yeah. Out of your it dresser. does. <laughs> but they're just so badass, you know? Stars and stripes. You know what I used to use too when I had these uh, like K&N style filters, the fabric filters? I used to use my grandma's pantyhose. Oh. I zoomed in on that. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Miss you. Um, we're just out here living our best life. Yeah. This thing's a beast. You built the headers. You did all the fab. Yeah, my brother and I, uh, he built the exhaust. And basically, we decided there's not enough room under the hood, so we'll put them out the hood. And uh, the rest is history. So. Do you still have uh, street tires and drive this on the street? Yeah, I do actually. I drove it down to get the wrap. Um, I do car shows and stuff with it, bring the kids for rides and whatnot. Basically, when you show up, you are the dude that is having the most fun with your yeah, own built that's... vehicle, which is totally like my style. What about the co-dog? That's what I was good into. It's cushy ride in here, man. <laughs> this sand's awesome. Hell yeah. It's handling it well. Yeah, he, th he wants him to put a boost controller on it and make more boosts. Second gear rips on the beach. Uh, short story. He drove this car, I don't know if you know that. Okay. On the street, drifted with a six-speed manual. Broom, yeah. broom stick on the clutch, zip tied. Yeah, we underneath. actually strapped Chicken the wheel. wheelchair to the top. <laughs> and when he did donuts on the street, like... My God. What? Like, we Dude. put a broom stick down to the clutch pedal, and he did it with his hand. Yes. So, Legend. It was a good I mean, time. This is oh, yeah. sick. First time out here in these dunes? It is my second time here. First time for a UTV takeover. Yeah, it's madness, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's stacked. We missed the ATV and moto jump because we were out here ripping around. Um, but there's going to be a ton of other things. As the weekend progresses, it's only going to get crazier. And I'm hyped. Let's see what the rest of the weekend has in store for us. Is there more uh, jumping or is that the only Huckfest? Oh, no. That was the motorcycles and ATVs. So the side by sides, the UTVs. Oh, yeah. The big crashes. Are Saturday. Oh, yeah. And there's going to be people going ham. There's uh, like three or four dudes that are always right there with each other. And usually one or two of them yard sale and one pulls it off. So <laughs> we'll see how the lip and the landing and the wind and all that comes into a factor. But these guys have some huevos, man. And they don't give up.
But a huge, huge shout out to Blake Wilkie. He did take me for a ride in the Megalodon and that thing is absolutely insane. And when I built this, I thought it would do things like the Megalodon and then it didn't do that at all, but it's still kind of badass. That thing is the real OG. That thing is sick. She barks. She barks. He is, we're looking at the sky more than we are at the ground most of the Yeah. Time. When he was doing wheelies, it felt like we were straight up and down, like we were just going to go over backwards. Kiss the rear engine cage and just let God take the wheel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hit it! We met some new friends, uh, Sean and Nick. They both got to go for rides. So you might have seen them ripping and showed up in uh, the Corvette. He hit me up, was like, dude, you got any extra camping spots? They said they're sold out. Made a call, got these boys here because they're gearheads. They build unique, cool shit. <laughs> Nick, what's your IG That's handle? Blade. I'm good with my hands. <laughs> it's kind of a nod to what I do. All I got left is my hands, and I really like building shit, building cars, and having fun. That's all I drive with, so. So, um, it was his first time in a sand car, jumping and doing wheelies, and uh, I couldn't let Sean have all the fun when his, when his boy cruised with him and is his right hand, so what was your experience jumping and just blasting whoops the first wheelies? The first jump, you just feel weightless, and then you, you're wondering when the landing's gonna come, you're looking at the sky. We actually ended up hitting the same jump, I don't know, 10 different times in a row, so I actually got to feel different landings in the same air, like I got to feel a rear landing, front, kind of nose landing, flat landing, and it was awesome to be able to experience, I guess, all that. And we landed on the yeah. side yeah. once, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the lip was uh, a little sketchy, but I mean, um, these rear engine cars are very meticulous to, to like your throttle control coming off the lips, because I mean, to, you got to come into a speed, carry your momentum. Uh, the pop and everything is so drastic in these, unlike the front engine the TT bug. But uh, what about the wheelies? Dude, they were sick. They So same thing, kind of. You're looking at the sky, and one thing that I noticed I could feel through the chassis is the rear cage dragging across the ground. Couple and then, yeah, it. and it like kisses, and you kind of pull out of it and then roll back into it a little bit, yeah. pedaling it as it's going on. And so it's, you realize how much car control is going into it. It's sick. Yeah, that's. That's tight because most people would just be like ah, dragging the whole time. And I'm trying to find that yeah. that balance point when you kiss it. Yeah, like you said, you roll off a little, not too much, but enough to kind of not just sit there because you'll hit something and then it'll just boom dive the nose forward. But uh, yeah, dudes are rad. He had a story. I'm not sure if he wants to tell it. I'll tell it about his quad experience. Yeah. So. <laughs> The last time, I haven't bought a bike for myself or any real toys for myself uh, since my injury. Last time I was at the Dunes uh, was a Thanksgiving trip in 2020. I borrowed a 700 Raptor, figure out a way to shift it, built my own makeshift shifter out of a piece of 1x4 and tie wire. It's a suicide shifter. Um, and then I just kind of clutched this ride, actually. But um, yeah, I went out for a morning ride, came back in, took everything that was securing my legs, feet, everything off. Um, ended up forgetting to secure my zip ties back to the pegs. <laughs> um, earlier that morning I was practicing wheelies and stuff, so I was getting pretty ballsy, like not popping the clutch, but just rolling into wheelies and feeling them out. Went, ate breakfast, went back out for a ride, and my foot wasn't secured, and it came off the peg at like 30, 35 miles an hour, and it broke my tib and my fib. Um, couldn't feel it, but that was my last experience at the dunes, so it's gonna be a good trip. <laughs> 
And then he said, like, so it didn't keep flaring around. You put yeah. it over the bar. Yeah, we ended up taking a buddy's riding shirt, taking my leg, pointing it straight out over the bars, tied it to the bars of the riding shirt. Wasn't that bad riding across the sand, but back through camp on paddles, dude. I'm just going like this. I'm trying to keep my head down and like not let anybody else see me or make eye contact with anybody, but my foot every time the paddles mouth was just like gnarly. I couldn't look at it. It, made, it was cringy. <laughs> I but, ended up driving myself to the hospital. It was gnarly. And then he drove himself to the hospital and back home after getting it assessed and fixed. And uh, that's pretty freaking rad. And uh, you know, he's had an unfortunate accident, and uh, this dude's still building rad shit, and that's why he's good with his hands. Out here ripping with the boys, helping the homies, and uh, yeah, making new friends from new areas with similar passions and rad hobbies. Hell yeah. Oh man, uh, Thursday is a, is a wrap. Um, Harry wants to do the night run. I'm kind of uh, over it. Uh, after a couple unfortunate events. Um, everything's in one piece right now, for the most part. So I'm trying to keep it that way, but, and I know how rowdy those night runs get, and uh, there's definitely always some carnage. And I think it's uh, my time to sit this out. Baker, are you gonna go for a ride with him? No, I say we go tomorrow night. I'd be down for tomorrow night. Cool, we'll or a, Saturday. We'll put a GoPro on his shit, send one of these boys and let yeah. them experience that shit. Because it's fucking heavy. It's hectic. <laughs> so hectic. That's just, I'm stoked. It's getting chilly and I'm hungry. I want a corn dog. I, I want a corn dog. For <laughs> Sounds fire. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Are you ready to go racing? Yeah, this is awesome. This is the best track that they've put together that I've seen for this short course racing, and it's pretty freaking cool, man. Like, big berms, drop-offs, head-to-head -head racing, two different lanes. Like, look at this, and the crowd. I've never seen the crowd this big. Around this whole place, stacked. And from two years ago? To where it's at? Like the athletes and ambassadors? <laughs> they got their hands full. Yeah. Just, tables have turned. We're just we're just here to have a good time. Yeah. It's gonna be that shreddy logo on front that gives you the win. Oh yeah.
Baker. <laughs> this is a legit shoot right now for Polaris. We're taking the expedition out. And I cannot mess it up. So we have firewood, beach chairs. It's a whole vibe. We're going to go to the coast. We're going to hang out. We're going to set up a little vibe, set the tent up. I'm curious to see how easy this tent sets up. I know we were sitting in it earlier and it was rad. Um, this thing is like a car. I'm going to test the heater. I'm going to test the AC. Um, has roll up windows, rad side mirrors. This thing is basically a car. It's just not classified as a car. If you put the turn signals and your state allows it, I'm pretty sure I would have one of these, but California does not allow these. We'll show you some of the other cool stuff on the beach, but I'm dropping air pressure. That way uh, we can crawl through the sand in this thing with ease and make the ride that much more comfortable. But if I ever get one of these, its name's gonna be Big Hoss. madness is going down right now we're heading to wheelie fest that's why vendor row is dead that is a pretty popular event uh, brandon our boy usually holds it down for the win we'll see if he can pull another one off today yesterday his clutch acted up on him so we'll see what happens today um, after that is huck fest the jump with the winds that they've shaped has been basically blown out every time that they've made it so today there's a slight breeze but not too bad and uh, let's see uh, if this jumps legit or if people are going to yard sale either way people are going to yard sale but that'll depend on if we hit it or not my body is sore after two weeks of going hard and thrashing here for four or five days if the jump ain't right we're gonna let all these UTV guys have it but if everything's in our favor, we might beat the body up a little bit more. Yeah. Hey. Wheelie Fest is about to go down. It's another beautiful day. We got clear blue skies, little clouds maybe rolling in later. But track is hot, flag is up in the air. Brandon, I got my money on him.
is that a wrap? That happens to be a wrap, dude. Uh, 70-hour drive here was a lot to do in one day. We're gonna see how far we can make it. Maybe Sacramento. Um, shout out to the UTV Takeover organizers, volunteers, and uh, all the other vendors that are here supporting it. All the people that are supporting Shreddy, getting all the new merch and all that good stuff. Polaris for getting me parts for the Pro R after the incident we had um, in North Bend Power Sports. That was huge. We got to drive the Polaris Expedition on the beach, which was a vibe and I did not want to leave. I wanted to camp out right there on the beach in the Expedition with the rooftop tent. Um, so many cool things. We got to do wheelies and give a couple people rides. And I mean, it's just a beautiful place. It's hard to leave, but we got to get the TT bug powder coated, the class 11 ready for the next more race, chasing that uh, Impy Triple Crown championship again. And uh, yeah, so we want to get home Monday, hit the ground running. Hope you guys enjoyed this edit of Coos Bay with uh, Cameron behind the lens, Harry, Darren, Harry's butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old Shreddy team. Um, yeah, we came, we saw, we conquered, we did what we wanted to do and had a blast. And everybody's going home uh, with a smile. So, until the next one, shred till you're dead, baby. Yeah! Harry's butt. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>